Greetings, this is Paul the Polk from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, trend update, fighting in Damascus and Hama continues, and also a struggle over the Euphrates River. We are March 24, 2017. Scripture references out of Jeremiah 49. Concerning Damascus, Hamath and Arpad are put to shame, for they've heard bad news. They are disheartened. There is anxiety by the sea. It cannot be calmed. And so what we have here is a, a map of Syria. And the first place we're going to go to is, is Hama, or what the Bible refers to as Hamath. Uh, it's north of Damascus. The modern day city is Hama. The name means fortress. And in the times of Jeremiah, Hamath was a city in the valley of the Orontes River. Hamath was considered the capital of the northern kingdom of Syria in the early 21st century. Again, it is known as Hama, Syria. Now, in 2009, it had a population of 854,000, um, and it was the fourth largest city in Syria. Now, who knows with all the fighting that's taking place, how many people have left, but those were some estimates. Um, highlight some of the fighting here. Um Fighting between the Syrian army of President Assad and the rebels continues. Now, the majority of the hostilities are taking place north and a bit west of the city of Hama. And it appears opposition rebels are gaining near Hama. Now, in the backdrop of this, the United Nations is holding peace talks in Geneva in an attempt to stop the clashes. Now, in the green... This would be the uh, Free Syrian Army, or the Fatah al-Sham Front. These folks are also known as uh, Jabhat al-Nusra, or al-Qaeda, in Syria. Also, the Turkmen may be involved in the red, or I'm sorry, backing up to the groups in green. These folks are primarily Sunni Muslims. Now, the Syrian Army, that's the group in the red, um, they are supported by Russian forces, as well as Iran and Hezbollah out of Lebanon. And these groups are primarily Shia Muslims. So this is taking place along uh, party lines or strains of Islam, Sunni v. Shia. Now we're going to go up a little bit and to the north and a little bit to the east to the Euphrates River. And this is breaking as we speak right now. And this is the Euphrates River. And it's dammed up at the Takba Dam, or the Topka Dam. T-A-B-Q-A, Topka Dam. Um, fighting for control of the Takba Dam on the Euphrates River is currently taking place. Now, this dam is located approximately... Oh, 20 miles, maybe 30 miles west of Raqqa, Syria. And this is the de facto capital for ISIS. So breaking this down in the gray would be ISIS. The yellow would be the Kurds. And then also allegedly the United States and France have forces located. So we can narrow down. You can see activity on the dam. We'll get some events. U.S. French forces take control of large parts of the Euphrates Dam. Now that's per a tweet of <laughs> United States French. Well, probably the Kurds are the ones doing the tweeting. I don't see the United States or the, the French tipping their hand, but and anyway, this and this dam is obviously a big deal because in the past, ISIS has threatened to blow this dam if threatened, you know, effectively flooding the Euphrates River Valley. I mean, it would displace millions and kill millions. Um, and the concern would be as, as the pressure gets turned up and they feel like they're losing their grasp, or as a friend of mine put it, somebody got up and had a bad day or a bad morning. They'd want to blow this thing. Now, ISIS, for their part, is claiming uh, no. ISIS, Islamic State, claim another U.S. airborne mission to take over the Takba Dam west of Raqqa failed today. So ISIS says that this is not this this is not being effective. I will see about that. Um, backing out, and we will head south to Damascus.
um, for the last stop today. We got Damascus down here in the south. Again, Syrian army in the in the red, supported by Russia and other Shiite troops. In the green would be the rebels. Scripture references out of Jeremiah forty nine verse twenty seven. I will set fire to the wall of Damascus, and it will devour the fortified towers of Ben Hadad. And that's the Lord God speaking. Uh, so fighting in and around Damascus has stopped the supply of food to approximately 300,000 residents, and that's, the, that's per the United Nations. And this is a quote from Jan Eagland, the UN humanitarian advisor on Syria. They are totally dependent on our supplies. Starvation will be just around the corner unless we get there in the coming weeks. Um, now at issue, I mean, obviously there's humanitarian disaster with all of this. They've messed with the water supply. Food's not getting to people. I mean, so we've had hundreds of thousands of people affected with shortages of food and water. But the old wall, in the reference to Jeremiah Jeremiah forty nine twenty seven, the old wall is still standing. Uh, now, fighting and warfare are taking place in the Joe Bar neighborhood, and that's right here, north and east of downtown. Damascus, and here's old Damascus right here. Um, old Damascus is north of uh, of what would be modern day Damascus, and just pretty much due west of the Jobar neighborhood. And the wall borders the Jobar neighborhood and the old old Damascus. Now, twenty six hundred years ago, the Lord God told Jeremiah, the wall of Damascus would come down by fire. Currently, the wall is still standing. The prophecy has not yet happened. No, nope, not yet. So if you're interested in this, please feel free to check out a link provided below. AlJazeera.com, Geneva Talks Resume, Fighting Rages, Hamad, Damascus. And then also PaulThePoke.com, click on the category, Burden of Damascus. And you can see several stories. And this has been going back to 2011. So this has been taking place for coming up on six years now. And, you know, eventually, Scripture says Damascus will be no more. So, appreciate you guys listening. Thanks a lot. Take care.